In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a USB interface, a MIDI keyboard, and in fact, up to four different USB devices to your iPhone or iPad at the same time. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And I do a lot of my creating on the iPhone or the iPad as I'm doing here using GarageBand and other applications. And a question I get asked a lot is what if I want to record a microphone, a guitar, any other input as well as a MIDI keyboard at the same time? Well, the key is this device here, a powered USB hub to go along with our Lightning to USB 3 adapter. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can get all all of this set up and connected so that you can be recording using two different devices. Oh, and the good news is if you're using a Mac or a PC, all of this will be relevant. The only difference is you don't need to use the Lightning to USB adapter. Now, what we need to make this all happen is a device like this, a powered USB hub. This is the 10 DAC 4 port powered USB 3 hub. There's a link down in the description where you can check this one out. So what we're going to do is show you how we can use this hub to connect up multiple devices to our iPad or our iPhone. And the other essential piece of kit is this, the Lightning to USB adapter. Now I use and recommend this one, the Apple Lightning to USB 3 adapter. It is the most reliable that I've come across. And once again, there are links down in the description to where you can check this one out. All right, step one, we need to plug the USB hub into our Lightning to USB adapter because what we now need to do is attach this end to our iPhone or iPad, plug this into power, and then any of the devices we plug into these four powered ports will be powered up and connected to our iPhone or iPad. So let's do that now. So you can see that that is connected there. We've got it plugged into power, so it's lit up there and it is connected to our iPad. Now, the one thing you can see plugged in there is actually the receiver for my mouse and keyboard. So if you've watched it in my tutorials and wondered how I use the mouse and keyboard, it's a wireless USB mouse and keyboard and I use it by plugging it into my powered USB hub. So there you go, a bonus tip, something else you can plug in here. But now let's get the audio interface and our MIDI keyboard plugged in and ready to use. So I've started a new project here in GarageBand. We have just the piano set up there. Now what we want to do is take a USB A to B cable, plug one end, the USB A end into our powered hub, always upside down with USB, like so, and then tap the power button there. And then the other end, our B end, is going to go into our MIDI keyboard. We'll find the plug there, we will plug it in, and there you go. The light is on, everyone's home, we're good to go. And now, if everything's working, We're all good to go, but of course, our audio is still just coming straight out of here. What if we want to now connect up our audio interface, both to output our sound, either through headphones or the speakers, or to put a microphone or a guitar and record that at the same time? Let's show you that now. Now, to connect up our audio interface, we're going to use the same process. We're going to grab a USB cable, put it into the next slot here in our hub, turn the power on, and then this end plugs into, this one here, into our audio interface. And what you can see now is that we've got a complete mobile home studio set up here. We've got our iPad or iPhone will work just as well, connected up to our powered USB hub, and then we've got our MIDI keyboard and our audio interface. Now this will work with any class compliant USB audio interface. So the ones I recommend are from Behringer, Focusrite, and Steinberg. And there's links to all of those down in the description, as well as some of my preferred MIDI keyboards if you're in the market for setting yourself up a studio just like this one. So now that we have an audio interface set up here, the output of that is going out into my mixer. So when I play the piano now, you can actually hear that coming through. And if you had headphones plugged in, you would be able to do the same. You'd be able to monitor and you'd be able to play along and record. So let's just hit record on our iPad here and we'll play a bit. So you can record your keyboard and it's coming out through your audio interface. But even cooler than that is we can plug a microphone or a guitar into our audio interface and record mic or guitar and keyboard at the same time. Let's try that now. So I've grabbed my favorite condenser microphone, the Audio-Technica AT2020 and an XLR cable and plugged that in to the audio interface. And now what I'm going to do is set up an audio recorder track as well as my piano track here in GarageBand. And I'm going to sing and play and record at the same time. Let's do that now.
So we're set up and ready to go. We have our piano track and we have our microphone track. Now what we need to do is tap on the red record button here on the piano, like so, and now both are armed. If you wanna learn more about multi-track recording in GarageBand, check out the video up the top and in the description. But what we're gonna do now is hit the record button and you'll hear, if I talk into this mic, that it's actually coming through as well. So what I'll do is I'll shut off my commentary mic and then you'll hear me recording vocals and playing keyboard at the same time. Playing the keyboard and singing at the very same time. So there you go. How cool was that? Not necessarily the singing and the playing, but the fact that we can use an audio interface and a MIDI keyboard recording on two separate tracks in GarageBand, all thanks to our friend, the Powered USB Hub. Let's jump in and take a quick look at how this looks in GarageBand before we finish up. So there you go. Yes, my vocals were a little low. I needed to increase the audio input gain there, but you can see how powerful this is that we can connect up multiple devices. And if you had say two microphones and a keyboard, a microphone, a guitar and a keyboard, you can do as many tracks as you have input. So if you had a four channel or a six channel input interface, then you can record all of those at once just by adding all those additional tracks. And again, check out my video all about multi-tracking down in the description. Now, if you're wondering about USB microphones, yes, you can use this same method with a USB mic. However, you do need to replace your audio interface with your USB microphone because your microphone actually creates its own interface, its own input and output. So you can't have both of those at the same time. I know it would be cool, but it doesn't work. And the same goes for using multiple USB microphones at the same time. You can only use one because it creates its own input and output. That's with your iPhone or iPad. On a Mac or a PC, there are some other ways, but that's a little bit trickier. And if you are interested in that, let me know and we can do a video on that in the future. Once again, all of the gear that I showed you here today is linked down in the description. And if you want to find out even more, there's a heap of videos down there as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.